Yes, yes. Well, this is a topic that um, has always been close to my heart for whatever reason. Uh, I think it's just the injustice of it. And uh, I was reminded of it this morning by a friend who mentioned something and made me think of it. Um, it's abuse. Now, I was never abused, and I would never allow myself to be abused. And one of the things that I always say is, I do not feel sorry for these women who are in countries like America or other Western European countries where they could go to the police and escape, okay, that do have protective laws for them, and they stay and say, well, he loves me, and he's good to me, and he'll change, and I love him, and meanwhile, you know, she has, like, broken teeth and an arm in a sling and, you know, patch on her eye and all that kind of crap. Um, those who do leave, uh, those who say that they're afraid to leave but are still willing to do it, that's an entirely different story, and I, I support that. But, in any case, it is totally different when it comes to men. And as a woman, okay, I, I've never been a feminist. I've never been, you know, a uh, man-hater or anything like that. Yes, I do think that women deserve rights. But I also think that men deserve rights, particularly those who are being abused. And some of you may say, well, that's impossible. Men don't get abused. Yes, they do. And sometimes they don't fight back because... Maybe they're, like, really big and they're afraid that they'll they'll really hurt the woman if they try to fight back. But most of the time, it's because of double standards that are set. If a woman is being abused and she fights back or leaves or tells the police, then she's seen as brave and wonderful. And that's, that's true. She is. But so is the man who does these things. But unfortunately, if a man fights back or tells the police. If he fights back, then he's seen as evil and bad and abusive, even though he's trying to defend himself against someone who's physically abusing him. The woman could always turn it around and say that she was being hurt. And if he goes to the police, many times they laugh at him. And this is something that I find extremely sickening, because there is nothing to laugh at. I don't care if the guy is six foot, you know, seven, whatever and he's being abused by a five-foot woman. It doesn't matter. Uh, size doesn't matter. Because abuse is abuse. Even if she never laid a hand on him, but every single day she told him, you're ugly, you're fat, you're bad, you're lazy, you're this, you're that. That's abuse too. Just because he doesn't have, you know, a broken jawbone or, you know, fall down the stairs because she was pushed, that doesn't mean that he wasn't abused. But these people don't take them, these men seriously. I actually heard a story that I'll never forget once uh, on television, and it was so sad. This man was being abused by his wife and did not have any battered men's shelters in his area. So he went to a women's shelter, and they threw him out. They actually refused to accept him, and he wasn't there to mock anyone, like, you know... Oh, look at me, I'm a he was being serious. And, unfortunately, I cannot give any resources. You know, I I'm not a counselor. Um, I do suggest that anyone who's being in an abused relationship, even if you are a man, try your hardest to get out of it. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure that there are support groups out there for men who are in this situation and... and um, organizations willing to help them, but, you know, if you are a man and you're watching this and you're going through this, please, two things, don't be ashamed and don't think that it's your fault because it's not. Just because society's fucked up, it doesn't mean that you're responsible for this. I mean, okay, if you go off and you beat your wife and she hits you back, that's a different story. I don't want to hear bullshit from people who say, well, you know, I, I smacked around my woman and one day she got up the nerve and hit me. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad she did. She should have kicked you in the balls, too. But if you're a decent man and maybe you had a disagreement or you just, you had to put your foot down. Maybe your wife was spending too much or whatever. 
and she starts being physically or emotionally abusive to you, that's an entirely different story. And um, you really should seek help. So, anyway, I just had to rant on that. And I really hope that the justice system and people, society, change in the future. Because women's rights are one thing, but that doesn't mean that everyone should be excluded. And that also goes for tra transgendered people as well. Let me make that clear. If you're a victim, it doesn't matter. And if you're an abuser, it doesn't matter. I support transgender people as well. But if you are one and you go off and start abusing people, guess what? You're just as bad as, you know, everyone else. So, all right. I just wanted to... Thanks for listening. And I sincerely hope that uh, you guys find the way uh, out of this.